Okay, here is a tutorial for Butterfly Collector. Uh, Paul Wellatune originally done with Jam, um, but I must admit I hadn't heard it until um, he did the collaboration with Noel Gallagher. It was my first exposure to the song. Um, so this one, there's only two parts. You just need to know that uh, intro and verse uh, little riff, that sort of part, um, and the chorus, which is basically a G, A, C, G, which is pretty simple. Um, now there's two ways you can do this. Now Paul Weller, I think, does it um, up the fretboard. Um, I've seen him doing it a couple of acoustic uh, covers on YouTube. Um, but it's, it's basically it's an E minor, right? and there's a, sorry, a B7, or a, and an A minor 7. Say B7, B minor 7, A minor 7, B minor 7, and E minor are the chords if you do it down here in my version anyway. Um, but yeah, pause is up here. So I'll show you both ways and you can please yourself how you like to play it. Um, I personally just like it down here because you can kind of get a richer sound with the strings ringing out rather than barring across the strings, you, you lose that. Um, and obviously Paul is doing it with backup and so forth so he can get away with it but I think if you're playing this solo I personally do it this way so I'll show you this way first E minor you're basically going 6th, 5th, 3rd, 4th 6th, 5th, 3rd, 4th but you can strum the Seven. Basically hitting the fifth, fourth, and then the A minor seven, fifth, fourth, strum, back to the B minor seven, and then back to the E minor, and in the Noel Gallagher cover you can do the run down the, the G, uh, the E string. done. Um, basically fret on the 5th string on the 7th fret and on the 4th string on the 5th fret. Just go 6th, 5th, 4th, 5th, 6th, 5th, 4th, 5th. Right. Keep that finger there and just slide that basically up another 2 frets to the ninth. And bar across the whole 7th fret. It's easier because then you're just going to do the same thing. 6th, 5th, 4th, 5th, 6th, 5th, 4th, 5th. Slide it, that whole formation down to 6th, 5th, 4th, 5th. Slide it back up to 6th, 5th, 4th, 5th. And then back down to open 7th, 5th fret. <laughs> Let's see, when you're doing it that way, you're constrained to basically just pluck in notes. So that's why I like to do it. Just like the sound of that better for a solo version. So basically you keep that up for the verse. So you finally got what you wanted. You don't change your name. Right, and the chorus bit is just G, A, C, G, three times, and then at the end C, G, F sharp, uh, F major 7, E minor. So, it's G, A, C, G, G, A, C, G, G, A, C, G, G, A, C, G, F major 7. It's almost the whole song, just those bits. The only little variation is um, when you're coming out of verse 3, um, there's a... I don't feel like a there's a D chord there before going into the um, chorus again.
go. Um, you choose how you like to play it and go for it. <laughs> 